Yeah, mate, the Aussie Servo, Australia's favourite fine dining destination. Oh, and you know, they do sell fuel too, but that's just to get us in the door, mate. You know, get our noses pressed up against the real money maker, the fucking Bay Marie. Yep, Servos know all too well, mate, that once they get us through those doors and in front of that fucking hot box, it's out of our control. We can go on as prepared as we want, mate. You know, oh, this time I'm going in, I'm paying for me fuel, and I'm leaving. Yet every time, mate, somewhere between the front door and the county, you fucking black out, and when you come to, you're halfway across the car park with six power aids, a $45 Chinese phone charger and a cold crumb sausage. It's just madness, you know? I mean, some of these deals, mate, we just can't say no to them. And I think that's the funniest part, mate, you know? The fact that the only way you can get affordable fuel in this country is to borderline give yourself fucking diabetes. But yeah, mate, all that become water under the bridge once they offer me a job here, you know? And well, as far as the work goes, I mean, if you could teach a plank of wood to say the words, do you have a rewards card, it'd be employee of the month by the end of the day. Yeah, she's a sweet gig, mate, but uh, something I realised pretty early on was that really, it doesn't matter what the fucking price of petrol is, you know, people are still going to come in and complain anyway. And probably worse for it are fucking tradies. It's like their brains are wide back to front. What the fuck is this? $30 for a tank of fuel? 180 for the lot. Sure, that's everything? Everything. Fuck, that's, that's cheap. $30 for a tank? Oh. But yeah, mate, if it wasn't for the fact that 90% of the money coming into this place was some blokes like that, I'd be upset, you know? But really, tradies coming in every day and raiding the place like a small Afghan village is the only thing keeping us afloat. I mean, the only thing they won't touch are the fucking sandwiches, and you can't really blame them, you know? I mean, just the sight of one of those warm $11 egg salad sandwiches should instantly trigger your fight or flight response, mate. And I think that's something not enough servos really understand, you know? The fact that the success of a tradie's day revolves entirely around how many hours he was paid to sit on the shitter. But I get this, mate, which is why I've started setting up some deals around here, you know? Only thing is, mate, me deals ended up being so effective, half these blokes weren't even making it to site in the morning. I just ended up with a huge line for the shitters here every day, and guess who's got to fucking clean that up? But for every problem, there is a solution, mate. And uh, while I can't exactly refuse to give them the key, I can make it extremely painful to use. Yep, ever since I gave the key the old mongoose treatment, bathroom use has been down 90%. <laughs> Haven't cleaned it in weeks. Hey mate, sorry, hey, mate. but all means on his phone over there, isn't that a bit dangerous? Where? Oh, yeah, no, that's just Davo, mate. He's um, he's schizophrenic. Oh, true. Yeah, he thinks he's on the phone to John Howard. <laughs> well, good bloke, but oh. good bloke. But yeah, mate, just because most of the money coming in is from tradies doesn't mean they're our most frequent customer. Nah, mate, that crown definitely goes to blokes like Davo, mate. A very unique breed of human being whose life seems to revolve entirely around shoplifting and crack. Seriously, next time you're in the survey, mate, have a look at how many barefoot people there are stood around looking at nothing. Fucking crackheads, mate. A lot of them. Yeah, but luckily for me, mate, majority of them are pretty harmless, you know, and uh, even the dangerous ones will calm down pretty quick once you stick a bubble bill in front of them. But yeah, mate, besides novelty ice creams and buying Telstra credit for phones that don't exist, the only other thing they're interested in is the bathroom key, and, well, they make a lot less mess than the tradies do, so I just hand it over, you know? Fucks me what they're doing there for so long, but they're always in a good mood when they come out, so... Fucks me. What the fuck? Is that... That's my bath... He's riding off on my bathroom key. Oi, come back! He's, he's brought his own fucking wheels! What is the charge? Eating a meal? Hey guys, thanks for watching and a huge thanks for 300k. You're all legends, mate. And now for 300k, guys, we've done you a little special treat, okay? Check this bastard out. The all new Garn Ice Coffee Tea, mate. We've got the brand new Garn logo on the front. Look at the bloody bag of this thing, mate. We've got the Garn Ice Coffee on the back. Now you can also get these as stickers as a reward over on the Patreon, mate. Cool stuff like this, mate. The little Garn Key Tags. And while you're getting that stuff, you can also check out the BTS for this video and see how much of a pain in the ass it was to film. But hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.